We'll show you how to start Battletoads with some extra lives. Take a look at some hot new moves in John Madden football. Give you the passwords to choose your level and Rocketeer. And take a hop through space with Bucky O'Hare. All this and more on Game Pro. Here we go. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Game Pro. I'm JD Rock. And I'm Brennan. Hey, sup? Yeah, it's time to check in with the Game Lab Gizmo Techs here. We're going to see what they have for us today, okay. okay, bud? All right, what do we got that's chilling and hot today? Give it to me. That's video power. How's it going, guys? Great. Today we have a ton of tips for some of the hottest titles around. We'll check in with Robocop, Spider-Man, Bigfoot, and a boy in his blob. Then we'll visit the land of the Phantom Fighter and catch a great quirky power team adventure. First, let's get the video power edge. The first tip is from Game Players Magazine for Robocop for the NES. Here we learn how to get the crook to release the mayor. As soon as you walk in, move up a little and duck. When the crook fires, jump up and aim for his head. Once the mayor has escaped, you can now move to the left. Then go get the crook. Here's another quick tip for playing the amazing Spider-Man on Game Boy. This is the Green Goblin. You could die from this guy. So the trick is to stay on the very edge of the roof and kick straight out. Make sure you get to him before his bombs get to you or your history. The Rhino is one awesome opponent, but your speed is a match for his strength. A series of quick punches will prevent him from getting a running start. Next up is a couple of quick tips for the boy and his blob. In order to get this huge diamond, feed your blob tangerine jelly beans to turn him into a trampoline. Then make sure he's positioned directly under the diamond. Then bounce until you can get high enough to reach it. Here's another blob tip. Don't even let one of those cherries hit the ground, because if you do, boom! So carefully time your steps under the marshmallows. Then use your Vital Blaster's vitamin C on those cherries. Today's edge will finish up with Bigfoot for NES. Quick tip, pay attention. Shift up for added speed on the straightaways and downshift when you're climbing hills or slogging through mud. Here's another good one. Don't just beat the other driver, bankrupt him. If you take him out early and he's too broke to get back in the race, you'll have lots of extra time to collect more prize money. That's your edge for today, your video power edge. Okay, we're gonna chill for a bit and watch a power team episode. But when we come back, we've got Psychosis and Phantom Fighter to discuss. Right now, let's see what happens to our guys when a Hollywood movie crew comes to Milburg. Action. Video Power will be right back. Which car would you rather be in? This one? Or this one? Days of Thunder from Mindscape for your NES. An incredible opportunity awaits you at the Minnesota School of Bartending. You can earn a good salary and great tips as a bartender with only 40 hours of training. I completed my training in just 10 days and started bartending shortly after. The Minnesota School of Bartending offers a lifetime placement service and flexible training schedule. You choose your own hours for training and we'll help you find a job. Call the Minnesota School of Bartending at 645-1252. Winners read and readers win by participating in the readathon a program of the National Multiple Sclerosis Society. And now, back to the power team. Let's go, people! We're making a movie here! Let's move it, move it, move it! Charlie, get our big shot star out here and let us start earning her money! I can't believe they're making a movie here in Milburg. It's so exciting. What are you talking exciting? A couple actors stand around in front of the camera making faces for 10, 20 seconds. Cut! They take a break for two hours. Yeah, well, I sure wish I had a job like that. Right, like somebody would be so stupid as to hire you. 
Uh, you hired me, boss. It's ready for you on the set, Miss Tish. Peace. Tish, baby. Sweetheart, mega, mega superstar. I was the greatest actress in the history of Hollywood. Frankly, darling, I can't wait to get out of this hick town and back to Hollywood. Just hang in there. Another couple of days, and Milberg will be just a bad memory. Yes, like your last picture. <laughs> my, my last picture? That's great! Did you hear that? Is this kid a riot or what? <laughs> This guy needs his own zip code. Movie people are all weird. But the real nut is the guy who gave him the money to make the film. Hmm. Maybe I ought to get into this directing racket. Well, before you try it in Milburg, you better check out who's here. Well, well. I just might get to... shoot a scene after all. Let's get out of sight. What are all these people doing here? You mean you don't know? Quiet, Quiet, that, that, Quiet, Quiet everyone. everyone! Who's that man with the... Shh! Quiet on the set, please! Tish, baby, in this scene, a part of the building above you gives way and falls down, narrowly missing you. It had better miss me. Not to worry. The bricks are only foam rubber. All right, everyone. We're going to shoot the scene. And... Action! I don't understand what... Quiet! But I... What? Who? Uh, oh, Claude. Oh, lunatic! Do you know what it took to set up that scene? You gotta forgive him for zapping your scene. He didn't know you were making a movie. He didn't know we were making a movie. Is this a movie camera? Is this a movie light? Is this the director's chair? All right, all right, all right. But he doesn't know any of that stuff. Where does he live? In a cave? I used to live in a cave, as a matter of fact. Who are these people? Get them out of here! Be happy to oblige. <laughs> I know this is for real. I got a present for you, Tyrone. And I got one for you, Bunkin' Head. My trailer! You destroyed my trailer, you brute! Ow! Ow! Easy, lady! Fantastic action scene! They've got our game packs with them. This is our chance to get them back. Paper too bright. Well, if you think that was something, wait till I zap you. You're not zapping anyone anywhere. The game pack. Got it, boss. Let's continue this game 
later. I'm with you. I almost broke that lady's foot with my leg. You video game hot shots ain't hurt the last on Mr. Big. Ruin my scene, will you? Trash my trailer, will you? Mess up my makeup, will you? I'll show you! It's time for us to hyperdrive out of here. No argument. Power up, big guy. The greatest scene I've ever filmed! The greatest scene you've ever filmed! Darling, I'm going back to what's left of my trailer to have a good cry. Charlie! Tear this town apart brick by brick if you have to, but find that short fat guy with a cigar. I gotta have him for this movie! The Power Team will be right back after these messages. How about a nice Hawaiian punch? Sure. For over 20 years now, we've been feeling the crunch of this funky dude in Atlas from Hawaiian Punch. Hawaiian Seven punch. fruits are blended for a taste that's one of a kind. But keep your eye on Punchy, boy, he'll get you every time. They call him Punchy. I'm John Mashita, and this is me earning my living. But at night, I like to slow down with this great new game, Motor Mouth. I keep talking about cop, 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 flip, flop, flip, flip, shop. The quick, quackle, quackle, quackle. Quickly. Nancy, fancy, fancy, Annie, fancy, fancy, Nancy's work. Yeah! Motor Mouth. Frivolous phrases for friendly punsters from 5 to 50. Ah, can I try that again? What can you get for a dollar ninety-nine at America's Best? New patients get daily wear soft contacts or high fashion eyeglasses when you have your eyes examined. That's high fashion eyeglasses, single vision lenses, or even daily wear soft contacts. Only a dollar ninety-nine. Only at America's Best. Contacts and eyeglasses. Call now. And now, back to the power team. Charlie, we've got to find that short fat guy. He's perfect for my film. We blew it. Not only did we mess up a chance to zap the power team, we ruined any chance I might have had to get next to that director fella. The guy wants to talk to me? Is he stupid or what? Pull over, Joe. Hey, sorry about yesterday. I didn't mean to ruin your movie there. Forget about yesterday. I'm talking today, tomorrow, the future. Bella, I'm gonna make you a star. Not only does this guy need his own zip code, he needs his own planet. What are you talking about? I want to use you in my movie. That scene you did was fantastic. Get out of here. I mean it. Come on. Everyone wants to be in the movies. Wait a sec, boss. He's right. Everyone does want to be in the movies. So? So, we pull the same routine on Max Force. Tell him he was great and they want to use him in the movie. Once he's in front of the camera, we zap him. He ain't gonna believe they want to use him in a movie. He would if he heard it from the director, and the director was you. What kind of nonsense is that? You've been hanging around Joe too long. He's starting to rub off on you. Look at that guy. 
He's about your height, fat like you. I mean, big, big. Yeah, I could pass for him. Come on in. We'll talk about it. Wonderful. You won't be sorry. <laughs> It was an honest mistake, Max Force. I'm sure the director will accept your apology. Oh, man! <laughs> I can't believe you thought it was for real! Joe! Take these jokers up the Big Moose Mountain and let them go. Then get back here and wait for us. They ought to make it back to town by tomorrow night. By then, we'll have zapped Max Force. <laughs> Let's go, Spike. We got a movie to make. It's not fair. I always miss out on the good stuff. We'll have it all on film. We'll show it like a whole movie back at the garage. Can we make popcorn? <laughs> Don't take him up to the mountain! You got Max Force's game pack? Good. I'm gonna get Max Force into a movie scene where he'll be trapped. When the time's right, you zap him with the game cartridge. I'm Monty the director, and you're the cameraman. So, you're the cameraman, see? All we gotta do now is hope Max Force shows up to watch. Oh, Mr. Shumway, I have to talk to you. Some days, everything just goes your way, you know? I just wanted to say I'm sorry about yesterday. I never meant to... No problem! I saw the film of that scene. You've done so good, I want to use you today. Use me? In the movie? You're gonna be a star, man. And I want Zalia to stay around to watch the big scene. I guarantee you won't forget it. <laughs> All right. In this scene, you're the bad guy. The cops come up and handcuff you to the parking meter. Why? Because they're trying to put a penny in a dime meter. Remember, once you've got him handcuffed to the parking meter, all you gotta do is zap him with the game pack. Right, boss. All right, everyone, everyone take your places. places. And all of you, shut up or I'll zap ya. I'll, I'll zap ya? ya? That has got to be Mr. Big. Quirk, get back to Bigfoot. Tell Johnny what's happening. And... Action! Cut! I want to check the lighting with my cameraman here. I think we need a new director on this movie. Johnny Arcade! The one and only. Zap him, Spike! <laughs> you guys are pretty tough against someone who's handcuffed. Let's make this a fair fight. Bigfoot, roll our lasers! Whoa, whoa. Thanks, Johnny. No charge. How's it going? <laughs> Joe, shut up. Easy, dude. Max Force is doing fine. He's the star. Let him perform. Game over, Max Force. 
You're right, Mr. Big. The game is over. You again. This time, I'm gonna take you apart! I've had it with moving people. I'll take real gangsters any day. I guess you're not headed for Hollywood after all. I'm more than satisfied with my present precinct location. You'll always have a starring role with the power team, Max Force. Right, 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 right. And there's always action. Video power will be right back. Alps eating up the Tanner's budget. Certainly. And he's tired of playing the blues. I've got to find a way to earn money now. So he goes into the beauty biz. I'm in the rouge slinging game. And goes all out to win. You used my credit card to buy $4,000 worth of makeup? Oh, incidentally, you're over your limit. Can he ever make up for this one? Find out on the next ALF. Tonight at 6.30. It's on Fox. Fox 29. Let's party, dudes! The turtle's party wagon is ready to roll right over the foot plan. They may be tough, but the tenderizer will soften them right up. Watch the secret weapon! Uh oh The shredder has his own wheels, and his foot cruiser looks really bad. And it converts to aerial attack mode. What next? Launch the launch! Whoa! The turtle's motorized pizza thrower will leave the foot with a bad taste in their mouths. If the guys don't eat all the ammunition... Talk about out to lunch! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! From Playmates! What you doing? Making a peanut butter and jerry sandwich. You mean jelly. No, jerry. See? Welch's great jerry. New Welch's Tom and Jerry tumblers. Welch's yummy jams and jellies on the inside. Or funny Tom and Jerry's on the outside. You can collect them all if you can catch them. Oh, I get it. Peanut butter and jerry. New Welch's Tom and Jerry tumblers. You can collect all four. They're more fun than a jar full of jelly. And now, back to Video Power. Did you have any doubt the power team would crush Big and his silly plan? Hey, I've got an idea. Let's do a double-header Video Power review. In this review, we're going to get weird with Psychosis for the Turbo Graphics 16. Like I said, Psychosis is truly weird. The object of the game is to get out of your mind. Now, you gotta admit, that is a little weird. In this scene, the devil Ugar has trapped you. You'll have to make your way through five stages. In this game, they're called causes. You start this game with only three vehicles. So you've really got to rack up the points in order to get more. You're going to need them because when you're out of vehicles, you're through. Psychosis has loads of special weapons that you need to collect in order to increase your fighting potential. Their speed, the white beam, thunder, the black laser, and the barrier. But the most important weapon is the satellite. It's not just a weapon though. You can also use it to defend against enemy bullets. Without a satellite, it's almost impossible to increase your power. Any word? Weird. But I like weird. That's true. You do look weird. Not look like. Man, you're so weird. Hey, I'm not weird. You're the weird one. You're the one who said you liked the game. What? Are you telling me you didn't like it? No, I like it. I like weird. Oh, that is this too is weird, too weird for, me. for me. And now, Phantom Fighter for NES. It's a cool kung fu game that starts you out as Kinju. He's our hero. It's up to him to save the village from the Kyunshis. Actually, there's eight villages to guard, and each one of them has houses, temples, graveyards, and a kung fu training school. The temple is for rest and peace. The school is for training and fighting. When you're fighting a Kyunshi, you have to keep track of both his life energy and yours. If yours runs out first, party's over. Look at these different Kyunshires. There are nine of them in all. And one, the baby Kyunshi, can be turned into your friend. I like Phantom Fighter. It's pretty cool. So check out Phantom Fighter. Well, uh, time's up again, and I almost forgot to tell you what's on for tomorrow. Days of Thunder, Top Gun 2, and a major look at Total Recall. That's video power.
Game over.